Hi guys, hi, I'm here. Um, yeah, thought I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Uh, we had such a well, such a such a weather. I can't, I can't describe. It was windy. It was rainy. It was hot. But the last last three days we had a lot of sun, nice weather, calm weather, and. Uh, uh, the reason I'm taking this video is because I'm still feeding the bees, uh, though many say it's not, it's not good. It is good. It is good because we don't have full weeks of sunny weather. Either it's rainy, it's cold. See, it's nearly full house here. In a week, uh, two weeks, I have to, I have to give them a super, and it's nice. It's, good. it's great. It's just great. Now what I'm doing, um, I'm looking at the frames, it's in a good, it's in a good shape, um, <coughs> but I'll give them a new one because it's then the whole winter, uh, it, 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 it's not in a good shape. Uh, what about this one? A new one. I'll do it later on. I, I just have to... I want to inspect the amount of good good frames I have, the amount of brood, the amount of bees, and the amount of honey. And here we have honey, even, even cut last year. I normally I scratch a bit, I guess more all of a sudden. I feed them because that's what I'm doing. It's a lot of pollen, it's great. Okay. This one is nearly full. If you take all the bees, foragers which are out, it's a full mm -hmm. box. I'll let them stay here in a, a week more. Uh, <coughs> pack them tighter and then give them a super. Another super, a, a second box. Later on a super. Um okay, we feed them. Another one liter. And the fact that I'm using one liter and not the uh, five liter. That's the five liter. I'm not using it because it makes a huge bubble of, uh, of air, cold air, right yeah. above this uh, colony. I can't, I can't do anything about it. I bought two of those, and I think it's a, it's a good solution because it gives you like two liters, and it's very shallow, so it doesn't create this air bubble above this uh, above the nest. So, but this one, one liter, and good, it goes quick, and I give it like once a week, so they can keep on having enough enough sugar <coughs> to uh, to feed themselves. Good. Few drops. Under pressure. Whoops. And I'm ready. Yeah, I'll come later on and uh, I'll give them two two fresh ones. It's it's a waste of time. Now, to my colleagues in, in Denmark, you probably wonder why do I take this, this show in English. Well, so, the first thing is that I want to reach out colleagues in, in England, in, um, in Scandinavia, in the northern part of, uh, of America, Canada. Um, show them what kind of w work we have. Because it's kind of similar. This one is not. Huh? Oh, what happened? Kind of similar climate and similar problems. And I want to share this now with you. Uh, okay, brood, brood. That's okay, but very few. Uh, show them how it looks when 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 you only have a very short period of. Uh, a window of time, 
just to uh, to whack your beef, and uh, <coughs> and you don't have place to make any mistakes. You you can't correct it. This one, I don't think they will give honey. Uh, first round could be, could be. It's all bees. So anyway, I I do it in English. I take it in English because it's easier for uh, our colleagues to understand. If I start speaking Danish, well, I don't know. I don't know why they said they just switch it to a new can, a new channel, and and and, and, and they will they will make the best show, best show in town. It's my show. Uh, the sugar. And it is. I fill it up. Two liters. Put the lid on. That's it. Oh, that's a big problem. Out you go. Out you go. Out you go. Up. That's it. So it's kind of easy. Easy job with those those feeders and it goes quick. Um, the problem I see now is the the bees, the winter bees are getting very, very, very old. And uh, and they're fading out. So you can you come like this family. Last year uh, last week I had quite a lot of bees but uh, the old ones are fading out. They're dying dying on you and all of a sudden you find yourself with very small families <coughs> a lot of eggs very few bees cold brood child brood whatever it's not good so keep it warm keep it keep a lot of food in it feed them feed them feed them make it strong uh, the five liter I don't use I will use this one instead um, I'm not going to show all these, all those many families in here. I just take that's the last one uh, I'm doing. But uh, where is the, where's the smoker? Where put it? Yeah, right here. <laughs> so if you come one day and and you you don't have so many bees, it's because the old one, the winter bees. It just died on you. This one is it's out. This one is fresh, so uh, they're dying on you, and, and and all of a sudden you don't have so many bees, and and, and you ask yourself what happened. So what happened is that the old bees are dying, and and you don't have fresh bees to replace them. I know. I half of my bees right now because they're all bees are out as foragers. So when you come here in the, during the winter, the, the the evening, as brood, nice pattern, nice pattern, brood, pollen, brood and pollen, very calm, very nice bees. <coughs> ah, that's good. Ah, fuck. Sorry. Ah, uh, stop, I didn't miss the quit. Ah, uh, make a little. No. Anyway, that's okay. So, until next, see you and bye bye.